Hello everyone, I'm Guy from Infinidat, and today I'm going to demonstrate an Infinidat solution called InfiniMerge. InfiniMerge provides a unique approach for performing accelerated backup and recovery of large-scale Oracle databases, which can range from several terabytes up to hundreds of terabytes in size for a single database. InfiniMerge implements an approach called ARM and incremental merge by using native Oracle ARM and command but uses unique functionalities built into Infinidat storage appliances in order to deliver the best performance and user experience. Unlike traditional backup storage, which typically uses plain high capacity disks in a JBot configuration, Infinidat storage appliances delivers the required performance characteristics of the incremental merge process, which requires massive amounts of random read and write IO. As I'm about to start the process, we are now logged into our primary Oracle server, which holds the database we would like to backup. Running the InfiniMerge on-screen help, you can observe the different functionalities provided by it. What I'm going to do now is go into our database and add some data into it, which we'll later use to verify the successful recovery process. Now, we will log into Oracle Arm and Utility and run our backup script. You can see in the highlighted lines that we run an incremental backup, which uses change block tracking technologies in order to read only the unique data and then run the recover command in order to merge these changes into the previously established baseline copy. As our backup script is running, it is important to mention that the full baseline copy is only performed once, and from that point on, we will always run an incrementally merged backup. Once the backup process is completed, we will use the infinimerge-c command in order to create a snapshot of the infinidat storage appliance, which will be used to retain the recently created backup copy according to the desired backup policy. The dash r1 option specifies the required retention time in days. Using stored snapshots is important in order to retain the desired backup copies as the daily merge process overrides the previously created image. Moving on to our recovery server in order to start the recovery process, we will use the infinimerge-l command in order to list the existing backup copies and their creation time and select our desired point in time to recover. We will then use the infinimerge-e command in order to expose a writable copy of the selected snapshots to our recovery server. Now, we will go into Oracle Arm and Utility and start the Oracle recovery process, which will use the backup data to mount and open the database. First, we will need to restore the control file and mount the database. Then, we will instruct Armand to scan and catalog the newly exposed file system. This quick process is necessary in order for Arman to be able to use the data for the recovery process.
Once the catalog process is completed, we will use the switch to copy command in order to tell Oracle to mount the database directly for, from the backup target, resulting in a quick recovery process as there is no data movement involved. At this point, we will use some Oracle queries in order to find the latest transaction committed in the log files and instruct Oracle to roll forward the logs up to this point by using the recovery until command. Now, all that's left to do is open the database and verify the successful recovery by looking for the data that we previously inserted into the database. As you can see, the database is open and ready for work. Running a quick select command from our database will present the data which we previously inserted into our database, which demonstrate the successful recovery up to the latest point in time just before we ran the backup command.